Hey guys, welcome to my stream. Okay, I'm just gonna go on to a. Uh, where are we? That's it. There we go. we go. Hang on a minute. Friend requests. between Bill White and Good Tone. It's Tony Skittles and uh, Predator, I believe. The, the old classics. Hang on, bear with me, guys. Sorry, Dad. <sighs> ah, there we go. Hello there. Hey. How you doing? Yo. <laughs> Finally. Yo. Thanks for the invite, guys. Hey, welcome, welcome to the yeah. party, man. <laughs> yeah, welcome. Yeah, how are you, Predator? How are you guys? I'm doing yeah, alright. Just having fun here. Yeah. Oh, hang on. I've gone out of the. Uh, what happened there? Hang on, I'll join you again, sorry. Um, Redditor, again. Sorry, it's, it was, that was probably me, guys, I do apologise. Ah, okay. What happened? Nah, he's not in the lobby anymore. Yeah. That's probably because, well, I mean, you know that, that the 30th anniversary's lobby servers are crap. You can get kicked yeah. out of them. For yeah, that's a good point. What, what's actually going on with the servers then? Because they said there was going to be an update, didn't they? That it was all going to like uh, switch over, where they're going to like re redo the whole lobby system or something, aren't they? Yeah, that's uh, what I still, heard. We're still waiting for that update. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, because the, the lobby thing that they have um, on uh, is it? PC. Yeah, on PC is amazing. Um, yeah, I, I actually had to go out of my way and blow China okay. in this game myself because she was supposed to be in this game. But she's for personal reasons, we got Triple H and the McMahons that took her out every likeness about her out of the game. Oh man. But I put her in the game, man. I was like, man, forget this. 
There's a whole lot of wrestlers they did did dirt like that in these games that I had to throw in so they left them out. But Gail Kim, she's a prime example of that. A WWE ain't know how to treat her one. What what's that Irish what's that Irish wrestler called? Murphy. What's her name again? Um Yeah. 2012. Good time, Tony. Great game, guys. Oh. Because I was watching from like 1998, so you know I started seeing a lot of stuff that used to happen in there that used to keep me like it was like number one. Like top reasons yeah. why I watched it in the first place start to fade out. So then I was like, I wasn't interested anymore. And I started switching over to TNA for a few years. Then TNA started going under. So I just don't watch wrestling anymore. I'm looking at old stuff on uh, old uh, old school classic stuff on YouTube. Where I'm playing the SmackDown games. I just hope I come to watch wrestling now. Yeah. yeah. It's all. It Oh, good game. Um, because over here in the UK, it's wrestling's in a bit of a flux over here, isn't it, Peter? Yeah, yeah, true. Oh yeah, that's right. They start showing WWE stuff over here for some reason. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's nice, mate. God, you're brilliant. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know what's good. That was a great game, by the way, Predator. Fair play. Um, yeah, I, I know what you mean about the wrestlers. They, they, they I, I don't know what's going on over here in the UK when it comes to because we've got a new wrestling. Um, there's there's a new wrestling program over here in, in the UK, and they're trying to like kick it off. You know the one I'm on about Predator, don't you? Yeah, we know. I don't watch wrestling. I know about it. Yeah, but it's. The problem over here is, is that nothing can really compare to WWE or, or, or the original wrestling in the States. WWE is whack now. It's, it's lame. Yeah. Now. It, it really is. Compared to what it was, what it once was, that junk is just dead. Yeah. At least to me it is. Yeah, I agree. Wow. <laughs> It's just, it's, it's, it's a, it's not even a shell of a former self anymore, man. It's, it's the whole thing. Is just, mm. you know. It's, it's a shame, really, because like the foundations of what it was built upon, because everybody watched it back in the day, and it's really, really just died on its ass. Yeah, because it went right to the it, it, it got focused towards the kids now, the kid audience. It's, it's focused. More, their focus more drawing in children with that. So, you know, I totally agree. People like us ain't gonna be interested in that yeah. crap anymore. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it, it's a shame because we're the people that were brought up on it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even want anything to do with WWE. Not the new stuff. Not the new stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Does that? I, good game, guys. Well done. And it's funny too, cause for a long time I thought I was the only one that was noticing stuff, and then I started hearing a bunch of other people talking about it the same way. So that's just confirmation, man. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, when 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 they, <laughs> you know, when they had an episode of Monday Night Raw and decided that it was a good idea to put the Muppets on there. It's <laughs> What is that about? What is that about putting the Muppets on? It, it, like, I, I, I like the Muppets. I don't mind the Muppets. Don't get me wrong, but exactly. 
he goes over two things you just don't put together. It's just like you're not gonna, you're not, you're not gonna, you're not gonna take mustard yeah. and squirt it all over a chocolate donut. You're not gonna do that. That's <laughs> yeah. That's it. I understand crossovers, but that's one crossover that just never need to happen at all. Oh, Damn. good game. Yeah, no. That would, that would that would never happen back in the day. That would never happen. Yeah, it wouldn't. I totally agree. That made me laugh about that. Sorry, that was so funny when you said about the Muppets. Yeah. Yeah, they really. Y'all didn't see that one? Yeah, man, y'all can ask anybody, man. They actually did that crap. They, they actually did it. Like, 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 man, what is wrong with y'all? That was like the first thing I was thinking when, they, when I saw that. What is wrong with these writers? Why in the hell would they put. Oh! <laughs> Great game! <laughs> That was great, Predator. In this yeah. Joint, we lost they ever loving minds. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I totally agree. Uh, Sorry, no, I, I was doing two conversations there, but yeah, no, I, I totally agree. Yeah, man, that jump was crazy. That, that, was, that was one of the biggest mistakes they made on you. Muppets and wrestling don't mix. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Although saying that, saying that, I would, I would love, I would love to watch Miss Piggy take on Dave Batista. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. It'd be a laugh alone. <laughs> I got this on PS2, but it's Hyper Street Fighter 2, though. It's Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, but without the crack speed. What? What? Uh, hyper Street? You can actually control the speed. Yeah, I love Hyper. It's brilliant. Yeah, because it got Street Fighter 3 third strike, and it's that, it's that Street Fighter anniversary disc that came out. Ah, oh, we it's, it's good game. Good game. Well done. I, st I still kept that. After all these years, I still held on to that. I held it, on to that. I held on to Capcom Classic Collection, Mega Man Anniversary yeah, I Collection. Still got, I still got mine as well. Oh, Meg yep. Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Oh my god, I missed that. Yeah, the one on PS2 blows the ones on PS4 away. I, man. I totally agree. I totally agree. I absolutely. I love my PS2 and my PS3. I adore them. Absolutely, I love them. PS4 too, man. Oh, PS4 is great, yeah. But I'm uh, never gonna like it better than the two, man. Like, there's no way. There is no way. Look, look at all the content that came with these games, and all you had to do was be that damn good to unlock the stuff. You had to pay extra, like, you, you had to come out your pocket. Yeah. For any of this. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, developers didn't go back and tamper with the game. You know, you were stuck with what you had. And you just had to deal with it. But now they can go back and they can make all these changes. So, sometimes it's for the better, other times it's for the yeah. worse, man. Sometimes it's. I still can't believe that they nerfed the guy. Anything, anything, even one little thing. Yeah. Like, 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 I know. What? Nah, they, he got nerfed on day three. He got nerfed. Yeah. On day three. Wow. That was crazy. Yeah, it is a bit crazy. Yeah. All these cats that be complaining about these characters need to get nerfed, man. I highly suggest they don't play to any of that retro stuff because you can't nerf that. Exactly, it's all real. <laughs> <laughs> There's yeah. no such thing, there was no such thing as that. There, there was, there, that was never a thing, man. You play these PS2 games, you, your tail better come correct, because nerfing and buffing don't exist on this stuff. Exactly. Come on, this stuff is hard. Yeah.
you don't know what you're doing. You're you're SOL. There ain't nothing you can do, brother. All you yeah. can do is get mad, throw the game up against the wall, maybe sell the game before you damage it. But you know, yeah, you're gonna make the game good game. Well done. Anyway, that's the end of the game. What it is. Unless you better change the difficulty or maybe get a game hacking, game modding device or something. That's the only way. Yeah, I, I yeah. see the problem with gaming today is is that there's there's too much DLC everywhere. DLC is killing gaming. It really is. Yes it is. Yeah. Yes it is. What the hell? Exactly, and you bit you built your way through the game. Yeah. I used to love doing that. And if you wasn't good enough, I mean, there was always the option of getting a game short. Well, that was just cheating, basically. Pretty much, but you know, you had people that had to cheat because they, yeah. they sucked. They just they was whacking the game. They couldn't they couldn't play it. It wasn't good. But they couldn't unlock anything because they was they were sorry yet. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, I, I, there's, there's not even a nicer way to even say that. I mean, if you oh. suck, the lobby if, you, if you truly the... suck at a game, you wasn't oh, unlocking yeah. the chat. The lobby blitzed out of them. No way. I mean, Tech Attack Tournament 1 for PS2, for instance. Good game, mate. If you put if you put the game on easy and you still couldn't beat the game with anybody, then your ass wasn't unlocking no one. You just yeah. had to deal with people. I, I have to make a new lobby so the lobby's done the let's see. Yeah, I've noticed that, yeah, because it's disappeared again. Uh-oh. Yeah, I wonder why that happened. I've got no idea. It's weird. Oh, not to mention the wrestling, not to mention the SmackDown games you have for PS2. You had to unlock a whole bunch of crap in those. Okay, I've got something to say about it's one of them. wrestling games, right? The best wrestling game, the best wrestling games, in my opinion, are the old ones, the old retro ones. Yeah, like WrestleFest. WrestleFest, exactly. Yeah, I I know my, I know out of the 11 PS2 Smackdown games I got, my favorite two gotta be Shut Your Mouth and Your Punch of Pain. Oh yes, definitely. That's my era of, of wrestling games, absolutely. Oh, you too, man? Yeah, abs completely. Uh, I've got some, um, I've got some really, really good, uh, nice game there, Tone. I've got some really good old magazines, right, with some brilliant reviews and previews of them when they were coming out. I've sent you yeah. to another, another invite to a different lobby, so that's why it's done glitched out on me. Yeah. My, my copies, my, my, um, I'll, I'll join in that in a second. My, my box cases of the um, copies I bought a long time ago still says greater fits on the face in red, uh, you know, like, like a red burgundy. Thing, yeah, I remember that. That was brilliant. Yeah, my still oh, lovely. I keep all my old stuff, man. I even keep the price, the old price tag. <laughs> the old price tag. You know, re reminded me of how much I paid for them back when I first bought them. Yeah. I miss um, good game tone. Um, are, are we gonna? Let's join Predators, yeah. We'll do that now. Okay, so hang on, I'm just gonna... Uh, da, 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 da. I can tell anybody, and you know, I had I had people that like really took offense to, to what I'm about to say and actually went out of their way to become enemies with me because this is, this is how I felt about it. Yeah. But I honestly feel like Drag like uh the PS2 like the Dragon Ball yeah. Z Budokai's and Tenkaichi games. Yeah. Uh, was way 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 better than any of the Xenoverses or Dragon Ball Fighters, man. I think I think what happened in the end with them was they relied too much on um not just extra content and stuff because that didn't quite come into it in the PS2 universe, but. It, they lost the simplicity of the games. That's the problem. Yeah. Oh yeah, 
Tekaichi is very, very, very hard. Like, that's, that's not a game you can just pick up and just start playing, man. You, you really have to, like, if you never played it before, you really had to sit down with that jump. That, especially Tekaichi 3. That, I mean, that one was even harder to play than the second one, because they added shit to it. Yeah. But once you understand it, once you learn it, and you know how to do everything in it, that game is wonderful. It's, it's the best freaking Dragon Ball Z game you can ever play. But you have to have the patience. And if you don't have that, well, you, it ain't, it, it, it's definitely not. Oh, good game, game, mate. Well done. It really ain't. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell people that in a hot minute, you know, somebody might get that game and they might not like it. If they never played it before, they're not going to like it because, you know, they don't have the patience. They're, they're not, nah, they're, they're not going to want to take the time out to learn that. And when I first played it, man, I, I found myself having to go to the tutorial. And it took me... It... I mean, I was in the tutorial itself for like, in the training sessions, three, four hours, man. And even after doing that, it still took me a while to do it. Oh, what a game! It, 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 wow. I, had to, I had to play that game for about... Well done, mate, well done. Yeah. I had to yeah. play about three, four months till I got it down, but if I stay away from it too long, and I come back to it even now, I still have to relearn it all over. Yeah. But it's worth it, though, know, because, you know, that luckily for me, I learned kind of quickly. If I already learned something, then it won't take me as long to relearn it again. The, uh, so, you know, it's not that bad of a you know, problem. What, I tell you, that, that's something I miss about gaming now, is that when it was all about learning moves and stuff, like a lot of new newer fighters now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, well done, guys. Um, a lot of the newer games now, even the special moves are just like one button presses. You don't have to learn yeah. anything anymore. Yeah, the real I, don't, I, don't, I hate that. Yeah. Yeah, like from Tekken 7. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly my point. Well, well done, guys. I know on Guilty Gear, I, I know on Guilty Gear and on um, Blaze Blue, I, I always have to set it, the controls on technical because stylish is when they hold your hands when you, when you play it on technicals, you're doing all that yourself. You you absolutely have to know what you're doing. I you're I totally you're agree. Stylish, uh, just does it all that. And I'm I, I'm not gonna lie to you, and uh, uh, originally when I started playing Guilty Gear, the the newer one, XR2, it was I was playing it on on the on the original one where it it, it would do all the moves for you. But when I started doing technical, I suddenly realized how good the game was. Yeah. I don't know, them older ones were hard to play though. I, I got those still one on. Um, I got I got guilty was a guilty gear double X for Xbox, the one that got justice and um, the dude with the big the old guy with the big sword. And then, then I got Axe Corp for PS2. Oh, I think, great! I, I actually think those are harder than the ones on PS that, that I got on PS3 and 4, man. I mean, I mean, uh, Eno? Yo, she was horrible in, um, in, the, in, the, in the older ones. She was broke. Yeah, she was. She was broken for real. They actually, they actually nerfed her in the later ones. Like, she's, cause, I mean, she's not a... She's not a main boss anymore, so they made her not as oh, powerful. But even, but, but even Ramlethal ain't, ain't nearly as hard as Eno or Justice in those earlier games. Oh my freaking goodness. Nah, Eno is actually even harder than Justice is. In the older oh yeah, I agree. Yeah, man. The Justice was, was already hard, but, but Eno, man, oh my god. Man, uh, you couldn't nerf that back in the day either. You were stuck with that. You had to get good. You, you just had to oh, good, good run, mate. Well done. Wow. You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't call nobody and ask them to nerf her so that you could beat her easier. Nah, you were stuck with that shit. Yeah, it's so true though. And that's and that's and that's what was so beautiful about the, you know, the, you know, retro games, man.
That you beat those retro games. That was a true accomplishment. It was. Like, some serious hell just to do that. Like trying to complete. I tell you, I, I totally agree. Trying to complete um, Karnoff's revenge on hard difficulty oh it is one of the hardest games I've ever played in my life. It's so hard. And you really have to put like effort into beating that game. It is and you really feel an accomplishment when you've done it. Not to mention the older King of Fighter games, man. Me and Tony oh, yeah. talk about that all the time. Yeah. People think that King of Fighter 14 is hard. They don't know anything about no, I, think, the ones. I think that's easy compared to the originals. Yeah, I mean, Ver, I, I, I even says, you know, the, the, the boss they got is... Good game, Tone. Yeah, he's hard, but after fighting that, all that crap I had to fight through, because see, I got all the King Butter games that came before 14, and I played, I actually played through them in order. So, and, and I forced myself to beat them multiple times. Oh. Well done, mate. Move on to the next one. So, so after after go and I put it on the hardest difficulty, except for the maximum impact ones, because I can't get through them on the hardest. But I put it on next to the hardest level in the in the two 3D ones. But um, by the time I got to 14, it wasn't that bad because after all that bullshit that I had to go through. In the ones before that, it, it, it really wasn't that bad. Yeah. It really wasn't. And it's comparing it to what you went through before. Yeah. Yeah, because cause to me, after playing through the whole fucking series to get the 15, that, you know, it, it didn't seem that hard. Now, if I've never played the other ones and I played 14, yeah, 14 would have been brutal to me, but because I already got KOL experience, it, yeah. it wasn't that bad. Mm. It actually seemed easy. That's, that's like the, the original Mortal Kombat's to me were much harder. Yeah. Yeah, because they cheated. They cheated in arcade mode. They knew what you was going to do before you even did it. Computer learned your moves. Yeah. Good game, mate. I mean, it came to the point that where you had to put in 30 continue codes just to get through the game. I know. Yeah. I don't even have to do that. I don't have to do that in the newer ones. Five continues is all I give myself. I re play the newer ones, but it, it's not like that with the 16 bit or well, not even Mortal Kombat trilogy on PS2, which thank God it got infinite continues because I always give myself like 25. And I still don't beat the game every time, even with that. That's how bad it is. Yeah, I That's how bad it is. I remember um go on, sorry mate, go on. I completed Tay Dog on that stream we have on Nintendo 64, it's easy. You can't I couldn't even complete that game. Seriously, did you? Yeah. Never. I was never able to complete that. Then I, 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 I turned the speed up to, to, to maximum speed as well, and done it on that as well. Jesus Christ. Brother is crazy though. He's kind of. He's out there with that. Holy shit! I couldn't even do it on normal speed. Wow. Good, good game, mate. Well done. Yeah. I couldn't even do it on, n normally. Bloody hell, that's impressive. Back in, back in the day I did the Naughty Day Party when she unzipped her thing and shows her boobs off. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it was, I was pressing the button and that would come out. I was only about the tip. I, cause I, I've heard about this. Not, not what you, you did, but uh, like I've heard that that actually happens. Yeah, I have to do a certain button and put to do it. To do the vitality or not. I have got an ultimate Nintendo sort of ultimate tips and cheat for. Man, this is a long match because of all this interference that them came into play, man. Oh! Good game tone, well done. People come, like people come from the outside and, and break up the count and then leave the ring again. Yeah. Yeah, I'm playing, you, you remember Smackdown just bring it, right? That game was chaotic.
It was, yeah. Uh, hey guys, hi, so, uh, hi, hang on, guys. I just realised there's lo loads of people on my um, stream. I've, I've... Hey, gamer, uh, Tony, Gamer Chronicles is on. He's watching. Is he? Yeah. Uh, uh, Tony just left. And my. yeah, he can come back on. I think. Yeah, I think it's, uh, what be happening is, you know, it's, it's, it's people be, um... Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's just people be, be coming in. Yeah. Hey, Angelic, hey, everybody. I'm just saying hello to my streamers, guys. Sorry. Yeah, I understand. I understand that. I knew it's a bit laggy, but... Yeah. 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 Good game, mate. Well done. I mean, I'll, I'll say this, man. If you got somebody that that's new to the Tekken series, like they, like if Tekken Seven is like the very first Tekken game they ever played, then yeah, it's, it's gonna seem like it's pretty hard if they never played the ones before that. One. Yeah, man, it is. The ones before Seven are even harder. Tell me about it, TJ. I remember. Yeah, you don't even have any shortcuts. Like, Tekken 7 actually got that rage thing. Nope. Yeah. yeah. Didn't have any of that. You don't yeah. need it. Yeah, you had to work for it. I totally agree. And I, I'm guilty of that. I always use... No shortcuts. I use rage all the time. I, uh, I'm, I am guilty of that, so... I, I do it too. We, we all do it. God, yeah. That wasn't even like a straight up Tekken game. That was more Street yeah, Fighter than Tekken. Right, and Tekken. Yeah. Ooh. Good game, mate. Well done. Yeah. Oh, his wife is back. Yeah. Tony said his wife is back. That's why he had to leave. Yeah. 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 That's okay, buddy. Friends with Tony for a minute. I already knew you. <laughs> I always do. All the time. Oh, shit. Got kids and everything, so. Oh my god, you kicked my ass! I'm using an arcade stick, that's why. Uh, I tell you what, mate, I'd love an arcade stick. That's the only way, really, to play fighters properly. I can't use sticks at all, actually. I suck at using. I, I done got spoiled with control pads, man. I, I can't even use. Uh, I can't even use arcade sticks. Kind of right? <laughs> no, not at all, man. No, oh. it's, your, it's, it's, it's your opinion. Not an opinion. I can't use it. I can't play with him. I, I can't do my Oh, mind. good game, mate. Well done. Just just saying, I can't play with I'm not saying it's bad to play with, with arcade sticks. I just said I can't play with it. That's all. Yeah, no. I, 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 which game do you want to play? Um... Uh, Predator, what would you like to play? Alpha 3? Yeah, I played cool. that a lot on the PSP version, to yeah. be honest. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good, I love this game. This is actually my favourite Street Fighter. What, Alpha 3? Oh god, yeah, I love Alpha 3. I think it's a fantastic yeah, game. Me too. That's one version. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I'm, who's I'm, the, who's the, the, I'm getting, yeah, I'm getting the PS1 classic, I am. Ah, oh, that looks fantastic. Ah, oh, but I got the actual green though. I don't have to rely on no green nickel for assistance. But I got the PS2 with double the PS2. 
another reason why PS2 is always gonna be yeah. frustrating for PlayStation. We had that backwards compatibility going on with it, man. I still think it's sick to this day. You had a PS2, you automatically had a PS1 already, too. PS1, they were some of the best gaming memories I've got, PS1. Yeah, I was, I was, I was, when I first, when I first played one, I was about two years old when it came, basically. It's such a brilliant machine, wasn't it? Oh, God, that was close. With the, with the two discs. Yeah. With the Evolution and Arcade disc in it. Yeah, I remember that. Still got Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. To yeah. Still got Cypher Filter 2 with the two discs. Oh, nice combination there, mate. Well done. I got Street Fighter EX, Street Fighter EX2 Deluxe, and I got Street Fighter EX3, but you know, that was on PS2, though, but it still, it's, it still counts. Jesus Christ, this match finally came through the room, man. I thought it was nothing going on. Keep coming in, breaking up the, the pin, man. Too many people. Oh, <laughs> good mate. Game part of the match. Yeah. I sent you a Femi Quest anyway on here. Oh yeah, I know you did, mate. Yeah, I, I, I did see that a little a while back. Yeah, yeah. So I'm uh, gonna do. Um, I'm, I'm gonna bet. I have got Tears Instant on PC, but I don't like the people with Xbox that's doing me editing. Oh, I tell you what, Killer Instinct, though, mate. Yeah. Yeah, Tony was saying that the, the PS1 version's the best. Yeah, and, and the PSP version. Oh, the PSP version is great. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Uh, the PSP version is actually the best one. I don't have it, but, you know, I'm not really sweating because, you know, I got Capcom versus... Oh! Part 2 and Capcom fighting evolution. So <laughs> characters that I'm missing. That's in that. Oh, what a game! That was amazing. Well done. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was meant to do I a super, much... it didn't come out. I know what it is, it doesn't, it doesn't come out sometimes, the supers on this, you drop them. I tell you what though. Yeah. Because I got Mackie, Yoon, and Yeah. Got Carl versus SNK2 and got Ingrid and, uh, and Ingrid and uh, Capcom fighting them. Oh yeah. Just, you know, it's not that big of a deal. Hey. Like I keep saying it still would have been nice to see a match between Guy and Mackie, man. Oh, uh, it would have been, wouldn't it? Yeah, the PSP version the only game that got both of them in it. So that, that's, that's the one thing, the, the only thing that bugs me about not having it. Other than that, I feel that didn't work. Yeah. Oh. Only three games that I absolutely don't own on here is uh, Street Fighter, the first Street Fighter Alpha and Part 1 to 2 of Street Fighter 3, but I got the rest of them. Yeah. But you mean Second Impact? Anything else. No, I don't, I got the, that's one of the ones I don't have. I got, I got Third Strike though. I got that on PS2, I got Alpha 3, I got um, Super Street. Personally, I, I play Super Street Fighter 2 on Sega Genesis all the time. Oh, it's such a good game on the Genesis. I love the. I, I had the Super NES version, but I must admit that the, the, the Mega Drive version was fantastic. Yeah, if you had the six button controller, dude, you got the six button controller, man. All the moves, doing all the stuff is very, very convenient, man. Ooh. Very, extremely convenient. Good game, mate. Well done. Off the game when you have a six button. Yeah, the, the, the Mega Drive 6 button uh, controller was fantastic. Yes. I got like five of those, and I got like six three buttons. I got about 12 or 13 Sega Genesis controllers and all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. You know, you got certain games you can't play with a three button controller, and you got games you can't play with a six button, so you kind of have to 
it, it's, it's definitely necessary to have a whole bunch of controllers for that system. Just because of that. Yeah, I. Super Genesis is kind of broke. Yeah, I, 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 I always liked the Super Nintendo controller because I had the Super NES. But to be honest with you, when I look back at it now, it's kind of flimsy. And I loved my Super NES, don't get me wrong, I love my Super NES, but... Oh yeah, I do too. Um, now, the only real thing that bothered me about the Super NES with the controllers, like when it came to fighting games, it, it's like the, the one thing that always threw me off and still throws me off today is when you got to press L1 at the top, or, or press the L button at yeah. the top of the controller to do a real type of attack and I'm not used to that. I'm pressing R is okay, but man, pressing L on the other side, man, that was a serious problem. I mean, it's, it's always going to be a serious problem. Yeah. But I think the six button on the Genesis was never a problem. I mean, even with PS2, if I set all my heavy attacks to R1 and R2... Oh, good game, mate. Well done. Else, that's a problem. That's what, I use on, that's what I use on Street Fighter R1 and R2, KJ. Yeah. yeah is, that what you, is that what you used to use, was it? Yeah, that's what I'm using on the arcade stick. The heavy attacks. So. I need to... God, I'd love to get a, an arcade stick. They look fantastic. I, I, I had one years ago. Um, I had I had one years ago for the PS1. Yeah, that's what I I had one on the PS1 as well. Yeah, that was the last time I actually had one. It was so long ago. But I'd love one now, especially for like to go back and all the way. Because the only way you can properly play, um, like have a proper competition is. Yeah. Like you're you're playing on an arcade stick now. I, I, I yeah. you know, the only way to have a, a, a fair match, I think, is for the two of us to be on arcade sticks. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, that's all better plays me. Like I said, it's all better than me, man, because I cannot play with them things. I tried it. Oh! I used to could when I well used to play arcades a lot. But after I stopped going to arcades, man, and I started playing on home systems all the time, it pretty much did something to me over the years. It made me lose the ability to play on a joystick anymore. It, because I got so used to playing on the direction of that on the control. That's what happened. I... Oh, mate, you obliterated me there. Thank you. <laughs> well, good game. Yeah. Um, I, I, w one of the things I miss about using an arcade stick though is, is that what, uh, like w when you're playing fighters with an arcade stick you, you really feel like you, you, you like you're pulling the moves out properly if you know what I mean yeah yeah um, I know I, I, ha I did find out that there's certain fight games old school fight games like World Heroes is a fine example of that yeah. You play a straight arcade version of that, or Fatal Fury 3, those are pretty much meant for joysticks, because you try to play games like that, or the older King of Fighter games, you try to play those with a directional pad, you're not going to get your moves out, but if you play with a joystick, you don't have no issues. I noticed that. Yeah. Look, look bound. Yeah, good run, mate. And that kind of sucks. There's like certain games that are, are specifically made to play the joystick. So it's really bad that I can't play with one anymore. It really is. But it's all good, man. I still manage yeah. to get in the oh. boss. Well done, mate. It's just I have to struggle a lot harder. Yeah. With games yeah. That, that are like joystick friendly because um, I'm playing that chunk with a little direction of the pad and it's just not working out. <laughs> uh, but luckily, nice. for me, there's so many fight games that are still direction of the pad friendly, so not all bad. Oh my god! 
Oh, Jesus! How close was that? <laughs> that, would, that literally could have been anybody's. That was unbelievable. Yeah, I used to... Alpha 3. I'll take care, t take care, 2P. Thank you for tuning in, mate. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Oh, yeah. Uh, who should I go for? I'm going to go for Zangief. I quite like using Zangief in Alpha 3, actually. I think he's they fine-tuned him in Alpha 3. Hmm. Oh, Alpha 3, he's, he's hard as crap in that. Oh, my goodness. And Birdie, I looked, because... Um, Predator's Birdie. I, he's great in this as well, Birdie. I'm all, I, I use shelters, but I use, use Birdie. Bloody hell, mate. You're good with Birdie. Jesus. How do you do that move? Uh, oh, sorry. The, the import. Yeah. I'm just... That's amazing. It looks brilliant. It's hell's in training. Yeah, I, I I can never... Well done, mate. I can never... Do, I, I've tried that move and I just can't pull it off. Is it a chance of using the controller? I think it's... it's Bloody hell. There it is. Look at that. Look at that for a move. That's such a good move. Well done, mate. Yeah, that's a brilliant move. I think he's great, Birdie, in this. I really like him. He's slow and fast. I play five on PC, I do. At uh, what place uh, you play Street Fighter Five and PC? Yeah. Yeah. PC and PS. Um, who's it that be? Uh. That's why any time, that's why any time I, you know, do a lobby and I feel like I might invite him, I, I sit and jump to like so that PC players can come in because I already know no better you. That's that's the great thing about it. So it's a great thing that you can invite people in from cross-platform. I love that. Yeah, that is cool. They should do that with more games. They really should. Wow, what a combo. Well done, mate. Everybody has the privilege to get a certain suit. Yeah, I used to. I like, the, I like Sakura's outfit, the stool outfit. Yeah, Sakura's a great character. She's one of my favourite characters in Street Fighter. I just think she's excellent. Oh, nice. Beautiful, mate. What's that say again, mate? Huh? Say that again? Oh, no, no. I'm thinking out loud. I'm, I'm, I'm on a real rumble paper. <laughs> <laughs> It's fun because you know you get to do Royal Rumble matches. Oh yeah. About the most randomest thing you can do in any any wrestling game period. You never know who's gonna come out. Oh. Anybody remember when Edge and Christian used to be fun? Yeah. I'm watching them right now. You watching it right now? Oh, good game, mate. Well done. Yeah, Tony was Tony was just saying Zangief is very versatile in Alpha Three. He's really good. That's, that's, that's why I have to use a Puma to beat his ass. Oh, Kuma, yeah. Oh! The hardest people to beat him with. Well, to me. I have to say Cody, Dan... Oh! Mate, what a game. Good round. 
and, and any other character that don't have projectiles, because that that means you you forced to get up close and personal with this dude, where he can grab you and slam the hell out of you and take your energy down with the quickness. Yeah. Fade one. Oh God, I hate fighting. Meat, meat is broken in this. <laughs> what? I'll play with all meat. I don't. She's broken in Alpha Three. Uh, I'm, uh, yeah, Mika's weird in this game. I, 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 she doesn't feel right when you, you, you using her in this game. Yeah, I think uh, harder to fight in that than in five, because I kind of think she's harder to fight in five. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe you know what it is? I'm, I'm used to fighting her in Alpha 3 because of how long I had that game. That's what it is. I ain't had five that long. They changed a lot of her. And I still haven't gotten used to her in that. But I don't play it that much. So, you know, I have to keep you. Because, cause, you know, when they bring Armika back in 5, she's way different than how she was in Alpha 3. First off, she's quicker. Yeah, I like I like her in five. She's great. Oh, what a grand mate! Well done. I mean, in five, I mean in Alpha three, she kind of seems like kind of a slow brawler, grappler type of character. Yeah. But in five, man, they made her really speedy. Man. She. Yeah, I. She didn't carry it like Rey Mysterio in Alpha three. So that's one of the things that made her harder. And five to deal with because she's quick much much quicker than that much way quicker if yeah. at least i think she is I, I don't know about anybody else but i definitely think that our is way faster and super far than she is oh well done mate i don't know where you guys yeah. Yeah, I, I I don't I don't like her in Alpha Three because I think they what like you said what they did with her is um she's too clunky in in Alpha Three. I just find it she she just doesn't feel um she just doesn't feel kinetic when you're using her. Whereas like when she's in uh, Street Fighter Five, she just feels really really slick and fast. I mean, I'm not, I'm not personally an Armika player, I just, I like, I, li I actually enjoy fighting, like, I actually like fighting Armika, like, I'm, 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 I'm a disturbed, um, cat, man. Yeah. I know, I know what you mean, she, she is fun to, she's fun to play against in, in, in number five, she really is, because she's got such great movesets. Alpha 3, she's definitely slow. I mean, she, got, she do got a couple of moves in Alpha 3, though, where she shoots across the yeah. screen pretty quick. You know? I'm not, oh, good game, mate. Well done. She, does. she even got a running move in Alpha 3. She mm. run at you. She clothesline you. She yeah. can do a, she do a running clothesline and, like, just knock your head off the hook to be like a, like a female version of Bradshaw's clothesline to hell. In WWE. <laughs> and, yeah, it, well, she fit right in. Yeah. And then she also got a follow up. She got a follow up attack. She got an alpha blue and she like Oh, wow. Well done. She can do this run. Because there's another move she got that's associated with the run where she just run. And when you, when you touch the ground, you can like jump off the wall or something. Off the ring, like, ring will come into the, the, the slide into the, the, the side of the screen, but she'll jump on the ring and then she'll dive off the, wow. she'll land on the wall. What do you, what, what you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Tell me. I'm coming now. I'm coming. That's okay, Predator. I'll, I'll talk to you later, mate. I'll talk to you later, mate. Yeah, I'm two minutes. No problem, mate. No problem. Oh boy, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm single right now. <laughs> nah, that's, that's fair enough, man. Yeah, no, I, I know what you're saying though, mate. About, are you alright, Dad? Sorry? Um, yeah, I, I know what you mean, buddy. It's uh, like w one of my problems though with... Um, a sp I, I tell you one game, actually, and going completely off on tangent here. You know the, the X games? X, X. Oh, the, the, um, the, the Street Fighter X. Street Fighter X games. Street 
got an X, dude. Yeah, EX, sorry. P AX plus and stuff, I meant. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got those. See, oh, yeah, you see, I think they're really underrated as games, because I think they, they work really, really, really well. And I, w w one of the reasons I love them is they're great Street Fighter games to learn how to um, put combos together, because obviously it's... Yes. It, it's more 3D and stuff, obviously. It, it, it teaches you how to kind of take Street Fighter at a slower pace. And I find if, if you play those games, it kind of teaches you... And when you go into a quicker 2D round in one of these games, I always find it prepares you better, if you know what I mean. Like, that's what I love about the AX games. I think they're so underrated. Yeah, they really are, man. Like, you know, you, get, you got the super cancels. Yeah. And all of that. So you could do one super special move where you could, you know, come from that one, start up another one while you're in the middle of messing somebody up on the first one and just chain it. Yeah. And everything. That, that, I think that was one of the first ones to start that, in a matter of fact, but it never got credited for it. No, it, it's never got credited for anything, and it really annoys me because I think the whole series is, is fantastic. I really do. I, they were, and I, I thought EX. I thought EX on PS1 was a great game, and if you play it now, yeah, the graphics are a bit crude because it's all blocky polygons and stuff. But I tell you what, the gameplay is absolutely brilliant. It, it, it it's aged really, really well. Back when it first came out, and, you know, everybody thought that it looked raw back then. But see, what happened is, you know, as time went on and graphics and games get better, they compare the newer stuff to some, of, you know, a lot of the older stuff. So of course, if you're gonna compare something on PS3 or 4, yeah, back at something on PS1, of course it's gonna look. Kind of, you know, there was a lot of um, evolution that took place since then. Yeah. It's just gonna kind of look like that, but back when it came out, people wasn't saying it like that. No, they weren't. Uh, and I, I think another problem as well is that because we're so kind of inundated with um, fighters now, with not not just modern fighting games, which there's so many. But we've got, we can go back now and play all the, the ones that we grew up with. Yeah. It, it gives you it gives you perspective now and you, you actually realise that some of the games that were slated back in the sort of late 90s, early 2000s are actually better than a lot of the fighters today. Yeah, like, exactly. I, like, I think the EX series is honestly better than a lot of fighters today. And I've, I haven't played them. And that's one of the reasons I love the PS1, PS2 and PS3 is because... They've got games that you still can't get now, like SNK versus Capcom, I think is one of the greatest oh, fighters yeah. ever made. <laughs> yep. it's a, hey, don't forget about Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Oh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. My god, what an amazing, what an amazing game. Yeah. Best, probably one of the best games ever made, I reckon. One of the best fighters ever made yeah. by a million miles. You know how hard that game is to, to find even even now still? I mean, they used to have it on the PlayStation Store and they permanently took it off. Yeah. You can't even get it on that now. No. That's the thing, you know, when I, you, you, you've got so many um, great games that should be... I, I know there's license issues with SNK and Capcom do, bringing it back, but... You go on any YouTube channel and everybody says the same thing. That SNK vs Capcom is the one game that should come to PS4. It really should. Yeah. What about SNK? What about SNK AR? Wh which one? Just... Which one? Say that again, but uh, Predator. The no, one that came one after two. SNK Oh God, yeah. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Again, this is the reason why the the, uh, the SNK games are selling so well at the moment. Like all the, even all the retro ones, they're selling brilliantly on the on the PlayStation. You know, there's, there's hunger for those games. Man, there's so many, there's so many games that should come back that's never going. Away. 
come on the PS4 is ridiculous. I totally agree. Uh, Saturday Night Slam Masters. A Capcom fight, a, a wrestling game from the 90s. That is one of the best wrestling games I've ever played. And they can't bring it back because of license issues. Yeah, that's one of the main reasons why it's, it's and, and me and a bunch of other people keep telling folks all the time, man, that keep your old games because you never know. Well, like you're gonna need them again. well, this is the reason why I love going on. I, I I love going on your channels. Like I love going on Predator's channel. I love going on Tony's. Is it's because and 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 Capcom Fanatic is because you're seeing stuff that nobody else is playing. You know, and they're the games that I want to watch. I don't want to watch what everybody else is streaming. I want to watch something that I grew up with. That is. Difficult to see, you know, like like when Predator does this is Killer Instinct, you'd be surprised. There's a not a lot. There's not a lot of people who stream Killer Instinct, so it's quite rare to see it. And I love watching Killer Instinct. I absolutely love that game. It's such a brilliant game to watch. Yeah, I'm, I was well, like calling. I said, unfortunately, yeah. I can't really stream myself. But, I mean, people can hear me playing them. Yeah. But unfortunately, yeah. there's no way for me to actually show people what I'm doing right now. Well, the closest thing I can get to streaming myself playing old school games is streaming Shot Trooper Second Mission and Sengoku yeah. 3 whenever I play them, which I haven't played those in a while. Yeah. But you know what, man? When you eventually do uh, get your... I, I can look into a capture card for you if you want. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm still, you, need, you need a computer first, TJ. Ah, man. I don't even have that right now. I was supposed to get a laptop a while back, but I kept stalling. And I never got one. There's a brilliant there's a brilliant website. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Um, there's a Japanese a Japanese website. It's, it's difficult to pronounce the name. What I'll do is I'll send you a link. And it's a... I, I, go on. I know... Pleasure.com. That's the one, but it's it's the the, the Japanese name. It, I can't pronounce it, but it's PlayAsia.com. But I don't know how they. The, there's another name for the site, and I can never pronounce it. But that's the one. It's PlayAsia. But that's. Oh, yeah. Have you looked on there? Because you can get literally the best deals on there for PCs, uh, PC towers, building kits. You can get the best deals on graphics cards. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm back now. That was my mum, sorry. Say that again. That was my mum telling me for something, sorry. No, no, don't worry about it, mate. It's fine. You, 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 you had to, you know, you had to do your thing. We, we, somebody get mad at you for that, they got problems. We're, Ma we're good. No, <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 listen, mate, I, I, I know, I know it feels because, like, I'm, um, when I'm not here, I go over and I nurse my mum, so uh, I know exactly how it feels when you've got to run off yeah. from a stream. Yeah, I, I, I was born in 93, so that's because that's a lot of days where I remember from 93 onwards. Well, my, f my first gaming memory that I can remember is 1982, I think it was. No, 1983. And... That's the year I was born, my dude. That, holy shit, man. I was born in 78. And, um, I... Dang, yeah. Younger than that. Oh, thank you, buddy. I turned, four, I, I turned 40... I turned 40, um... On the 19th, which was, what, two, five days ago? Four days ago? Oh, um, man. Yeah. Back now, anyway. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah I, I'm, invite I'm me in again, mate. So, you know, I'm like... Some years behind you, but that's still old enough. I mean, 83. That's that's a that's a that's a <laughs> long time ago. Yeah, it is. But you know, it's um, I remember 83, and I remember the first game I ever played was on the grandstand, and I just remember being totally sucked into games from that single moment on. It was the first time I was like, God, I need to play this. You know. 
And then the first game I ever actually owned was, I, you guys probably don't remember this, it was a game called Burger Time. Oh my god, yes I do. I remember that game. That was the first game. I, I remember the arcade and Atari version of that. And the Kiko Vision version. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, you didn't think I knew all that, did you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Fair play. That's some gaming history, you know, there. Man, man, I always wanted a collector vision. Always wanted. I never, never. Uh... Oh, what a fight! Well done, mate. It's yeah. like uh, it was like a kind of a sort of advanced version of Atari, I guess you could say. Oh, it was far better than the Atari. Much better. Yeah. I always wanted one. Oh, good round, mate. Well done. Yeah. We're I don't really play them that much, but I mess around with them every now and then. I usually use it for the Super NES games. Best, the best Super NES game by a mile, if you ask me, apart from Street Fighter 2 Hyper, was uh, Star Fox. Star Fox? Yeah, that's my top right there. Christ. <laughs> Oh, what a game that was. Oh, mate, well done. Yeah. What a finish. I haven't even beaten the first course. I haven't even beaten the level one course, man. I, oh. like, I, I, I refuse to play the level two or level three courses until I beat level one. Chris Chris just said, does does anybody remember the the Atlas fighting game? Uh, Gekaritsu Ikashashu, Ik Ik okay, Power Instinct. Do you, do you guys remember the game Power Instinct? Yeah. I got that on Fight Team. Did you? I got that on my emulator. Yeah, I got that on my emulator. I'll be playing with, with the Ryu like dude and the other guy. I guess I'll see him as a king. And I played that girl. Um, the one with the, with, the, with the chicks and stuff. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. I played that game in so long, I forget yeah. the name of the people who played it. God damn it, I, that, actually Chris, you've just mentioned that now, it, that's one of the few fighting games I don't have, and that's really annoying me now that I don't have that. <laughs> I wish I had a sequel in this, I only got one, that's a sequel in this one, I ain't got other ones, it's like, it's supposed to be four, yeah. four, yeah. Killer, in Killer Instinct for me was one of the best game series ever made, I love Killer Instinct. Oh, well done, mate. Yeah, yeah tr hang, hang on a minute, guys. Sorry, I hope you're okay, Chris, mate. Chris, mate. Sorry, I'm just talking to one of my streamers, making sure he's okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That name looks familiar to me. Who, Christopher Harris? Uh, Christopher Harris, he's, he comes on um, G Status' as stream. And, and yours, yeah. That's right, he comes on yours, yeah. He comes on G Status and, and Predators. He's a moderator for my channel, I mean, like a moderator for my channel. He's such a lovely guy, isn't he? Okay. I don't know he hung us, you know, I'm, I'm sucked with him. You know, no, I that's okay, dude. You know, if you pull back uh, and you, then you push forward like the sonic boom, you do the uh, the thunder. Another thing about this game, man. Out of all the SmackDown, out of all the PS1 
kids, two SmackDown games like that. This is the only one with eight wrestlers to be on screen. Oh, good game, mate. Fighting the crowd in this team, man. This guy was kind of ahead at this time, man. Oh, it was, yeah. Because you could fight in the crowd like that, like you could in this one and any of the other ones. I know they kind of run that back in 07, but it, it wasn't, it still wasn't the same. Because, I mean, you just bring it, people was literally getting out of the way as you just fight through the crowd, man. God damn, you're brilliant with the Honda, mate. I don't know his tombo, so that's why. Jesus, you're fantastic! Um, oh, here we go, we're down food now. That's alright, mate, listen, I'll leave you to it and we can. I'll, I'll come back on later because I'm going to end my stream anyway. Yeah. Listen, you carry on, mate. Don't worry about it, it's totally fine. Yeah, I'm, I'll be. Um, I'll, I'll leave my PS4 on. on. Okay, well listen mate, I'm going to go and have something to eat anyway, and I'll, I'll talk to you guys in a little while. Alright. Hey man, it was cool meeting up. Finally, yeah. Finally getting to talk to you, man. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's great being able to talk to you. Enjoy your dinner, by the way, Predator. Um, and, um, yeah, what I was going to say, mate, we'll, we'll, we'll come back on here later anyway. We'll have a chat. Oh yeah, definitely. I've been enjoying this. This is great. We could make a good little community here. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Hey, if you want, man, if you're not in them already, man, I got some, I'm, I'm in, you know, some communities that Tony got, uh, and, and Predator and all of them, and they'll leave, uh, Oh, the, he, he said, yeah, he sent me a link to, uh, the SNES community and all the st stuff you're on, so I'll definitely go on that, no problem. Cool. Oh, yeah, man, they some pretty cool communities, man, you know, you got a bunch of cool cats and, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm definitely up for that. Absolutely. What I'll do is, mate, when I come back on later, because I'm going to have something to eat now, um, I'll come back on in a couple of hours or something, and I'll I'll, I'll send you a message. Alright, no problem. Because I, you, you, I've got you now on on the PS4 now as well, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, if you see that I'm like not online, um, a lot of the time I actually am online. I'm the same, mate. Hide offline. Yeah. I'm the same. I hide my offline status, so yeah, I know. Hey, don't worry, buddy. I'll send. Yeah, I know exactly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, buddy. Well, listen. I'll I'll talk to you in a little while. And listen, I really appreciate this. It's been good laugh. Yeah, you too, man. I, I definitely appreciate you, and you know, hopefully this um the capture card thing will work out. Well, like I said I really wanna be able to show people how I get down with other games outside my PS4. Yeah, of course you I absolutely... Listen, mate, what I'll do is I'll find the link and I'll send it to you because I can send it to you now on PS4 chat. Alright, cool. Okay, buddy? Yeah. Alright, pal. Well, listen, I'll speak to you very soon and probably in a couple of hours. Alright, shoot. I'll, be, I'll still be on. I'll, I'll be watching YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what I usually do when I'm off the games anyway, so... All right, pal. Yeah. I'll speak to you soon. All right, you too. All right, peace, man. I'll speak to you soon. Bye. All right, see you.